Okay, this is going to be a video on how to construct, put together a book bundle for upload to Amazon KDP. I just finished doing my first one and it was a little bit nerve wracking because I used a method I saw on a YouTube video that used the copy and paste method. But I was a nervous wreck doing that because I was afraid that I was going to mar somehow the original final document. So I'm going to go over here onto my blog post. This is my website. And I have it outlined here, a method where you go in and you make a, a bundle copy of each of the books. And by doing this, you're going to be working in the copy of the final manuscript, not the final manuscript itself. This is the safest way to do it. So first thing you're going to do is make a copy, a separate copy of each of your books, however many there will be in the ultimate bundle. I'm going to have five. Now in the first book, I have all of this outlined here on the blog in case you want to have this open as you do yours. So in the first book, you're going to leave all of the front matter, the title pages, the copyright page, all of that stuff. And then you're going to make a couple of changes. The first one is instead of having the title of the one book, you're going to change it to whatever you want the series bundle to be called. Here's an example. Mine is the Newport Vampire series. And on the first title page, I have listed all of the books that will be included, followed by my author name. Okay. And then let me switch over here to the actual bundle document. So here is the, uh, you know, the, the bundle title the first page. Here's my other books by. That's considered front matter. Here's the second title page with all the books and the author name. And in your copyright page, you're going to change it from the name of the book and make sure you fit in bundle in there. Okay. And you probably will want to change the copyright to the present year. Uh, leave your table of contents, just leave it because we're going to be working on that later after the book is already constructed. As you can see here, this has all of the books with all of the chapters underneath the book name, and that's what I'm going to be teaching you how to do with this video. Okay, so I'm still talking about book number one. So you're going to go through the book the bundle copy, the safe copy, and put in right above chapter one, the name of the book. Okay. And then the name of the book, you are going to change to using your style gallery, you're going to change it to heading one. Okay. And then you're going to go through all of your chapters and change them all to heading two. Then at the end of book one, you're going to erase all of the final pages, the back matter, the acknowledgments, the, you know, other books by whatever you have at the end of the book. You're going to, you're going to delete all of that so that the last thing in the first book is the last paragraph of the story. Okay. And then you're going to save that book. All right. Then we're going to follow the instructions for the middle books. So in the middle book, you're going to do the same thing. But in these books, you're going to remove the front matter. You're going to put the name of the book and use H1 from the style gallery. You're going to change all of your chapter headers from H1 to H2. And at the end of all of the middle books, you're going to also get rid of all of the back matter. Okay. And then in the final book, you're going to go in and take out all of the front matter. And you're going to do the same thing. Put the name of the book above chapter one, use H1 as the title, and you're going to change all of your chapter headers to H2. And at the end of this book, you're going to allow the final pages to kind of live on, if I could put it that way. So you want to just glance through them and see if you need to change 
like if you enjoyed this book, you want to change it to if you enjoyed this series bundle, however you want to say it, just make sure you change them up a little bit. And so then you're going to save that one too. So as we begin to assemble the book, we're going to be assembling the book from these individual safe copies of the book. Okay. And then what you're going to do is go into the safe copies, copy like control A for all, control C to copy, and then come over into the book number one, which is going to become your final bundle manuscript. And at the end of the last paragraph from book one, you're going to use a page break and go to the next page and paste the next book. Okay. And then you're going to do the same thing with book three and book four and book five, however many books you have. And that's what you're going to do. And at the end of that, you should have all of the settings set up properly. H1s for the name of the book and H2s for the chapter headers. And that is going to give you this type of a of table of contents. It's going to isolate the books as H1s and then put all of the chapters under that book. OK, and you might not be able to see it, but each of these chapters does have a link attached to it and the reader can go to wherever they left off. So what I'm going to do right now is delete the table of contents. Now, before I turned on the video, I made a few errors in the table of contents so that I can show you what to look for. OK. Because although this is an easy process, it is a tedious process. So it's very easy to, in sort of the rhythm of things, doing the same thing over and over, sometimes it's easy to kind of screw up once or twice. So that's what we're going to learn about right now. So right on the space underneath, I'm going to turn on my show hide here. Okay. And right here, I'm going to go up to References, Table of Contents, and down here to Custom Table of Contents. Now, I did, this is not going to be a paperback, so I'm going to shut these off. So I'm going to do this one and this one. Okay, so they're shut off. Now, I'm only going to be using H1s and H2s, right? So I'm going to drop this down from three, which is the default, to two, okay? And then I am going to go in and modify. Now, the modify is only going to be used if you need to adjust the spacing or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is show you how to adjust the actual spacing because you don't want this to double space. You want it to be as succinct as it can be. Okay. Already it's so long, it's going to be two or three pages. So let's go into the modify. All right. So let me move this up here so we can see. All right. So down here, there's a format uh, drop down. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to open up the paragraph. All right. Now, you don't want to have any indents here. You just want it to be none. You want it to be set on single space. And you only want two points between the lines. This is going to make sure that the table of contents is about as tight as it can be. And you want it to be left aligned. OK. And then you're going to click OK. Another OK. And then OK. Now. This is where you have to be very careful with Microsoft Word. OK, so after I did those modifications, this one decided to put itself on again. OK, automatically for whatever reason. So make sure this is off so that it doesn't print up your uh, page numbers, which you don't want. OK, so let's click OK and see what happens. OK. All right, so here we go. 
here is the first mistake. Okay. I have the name of the book, but I forgot to change chapter four from an H1 to an H2. And I also forgot to add in chapter three. That means chapter three somehow doesn't have a, a H1 or an H2. So it's been forgotten to be put on the table of contents at all. And then the other problem is I forgot to change it from H1 to H2. So my advice is that as you run your table of contents, you need to take the time to go through and check and make sure every single chapter is listed. It's as simple as just counting. Okay. So let's go down and fix these. Okay. So here I am at chapter two. I'm going to click over here and make sure that I have my H2 clicked. Okay. And then I'm going to come down here to eight, uh, to chapter three that doesn't have a title on it. And I'm going to also add it here. H2. Okay. So let me go back up and we're going to rerun the table of contents. Okay. So let's run the table of contents again. All right. So I'm going to go here. References, table of contents, custom table of contents. I'm going to click these off. Okay. I have it set to the level two, which is what I need. I've already changed my spacing, so that's going to hold. So right now I'm just going to click OK. And let's see if it cleaned everything up here. Yes. OK, it made sure number three was in there and it fixed the other mistakes that I had set up. So this is the end of the process. So once you have this all set up, all of your books will be together in this one document. Once you check over your table of contents, then you are ready to save it as your final document. And then of course, the last step is to check it over on KDP with the preview window, which is over here. This is just a dummy book here I have. So you're going to upload your manuscript, upload your bundle book cover. And then once it processes, you're going to come down here and open up the previewer. And when you open up the previewer, my advice is to make sure you check every single page. Okay, don't let boredom prevent you from checking every single page because this is your only chance to make sure that there are no errors and all of the formatting is is very good so that's the end of this video i'm planning in the next video to show you how to how to create uh this book cover i might choose another one because i made this one for this bundle, but I might want to pick another style. But in any event, I'm going to be doing, you know, a how to video on how to create a bundle cover for Amazon. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned anything, I hope you will give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me. And I will see you in the next video. I will also leave you with a panel of all of my books that are available for purchase on Amazon. I'll see you in the next video.